Hi, three year olds. It's Joe Fury in the Storm Team 8 Weather Center. Hope you had a good start to Passover, a great Easter Sunday. Our weather obviously uh, went back to winter time on us. A few flakes, a um, few uh, gropple showers out there on Easter Sunday. Frost and in the 20s and spots to start Monday. And then temperature jumped up uh, through the 50s uh, during the course of midday Monday before uh, the colder air started to spill in. Developing storm storming overnight tonight between midnight and about 5, 6 a.m. Heavy rain, strong winds. We're talking about coastal flooding. Mother Nature may be uh, waking you up overnight tonight. So set an extra alarm just to be sure because there could be some scattered power outages out there. And, well, you know, once we hit past 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, things will calm down. It's going to be chilly as we head through a Tuesday afternoon on into Wednesday, through Wednesday. But by the end of the week and the weekend, we actually have a nice stretch of weather coming up. Down the road, out of April into May, ooh, the NAO is going real negative, and yeah, it has a, a cold look to it. You know, we're just missing a snowstorm tonight because the storm is tracking right up and over us. So that's good because two years ago right now, some of you had a half a foot of snow on this day. Windy, that's the big weather word uh, overnight. Wind advisory in effect for New London, Middlesex counties, as well as southern portions of New Haven and Fairfield County. Wind is going to be gusting up there 40, 50 miles per hour, maybe even higher. So anytime between midnight and, and 6 a.m., it's rocking and rolling. And with that wind piling up the water on the beaches of Long Island Sound, we have a coastal flood advisory for Milford to Madison and then Milford down to Greenwich. It's a coastal flood warning, meaning coastal flooding is imminent and we could have above normal tides by as much as three feet. So make sure you're parking on higher ground. Uh, those of you, you get to that three foot level, especially the western portion of the sound, that can cause some, some big problems. So, so watch out for the coastal flooding midnight to 4 a.m. And between midnight and 4 a.m., it's pouring rain uh, with um, you know, the gusty wind, scattered power outages, the coastal flooding. Uh, so it's a wild time. And once we hit 6 a.m., everything calms down, the wind calms down, the wind, uh, the rain dies down, and you might go out the door with the umbrella or raincoat early on uh, Tuesday if you're out at 6, 7 in the morning, but, uh, you know, by 9 o'clock in the morning, the rain's gone. It's chilly tomorrow, 40s to lower 50s, mixed sun and clouds in the afternoon, can't rule out that late day, evening, scattered rain, sleet, shower that could be out there. Uh, so, uh, got to have that jacket tomorrow afternoon, but the sun will be out as well. And then chilly uh, with the 30s and 40s to start Wednesday with a breeze. Highs in the mid to upper 50s, a little cooler in the hilltops Wednesday. Warmest at the coast on, on Wednesday when it could hit 60. Bright sun, blue sky, breezy. Nice day Wednesday. The average high, by the way, is low 60s. Could be some frost again to start of the day Thursday like we started Monday morning with some of you that were in the 20s. Uh, so it's... Some clouds coming in Thursday afternoon, highs up near 60, a little bit cooler at the coast. I can't rule out a late day shower, but I think it's mainly dry uh, later on Thursday. And then Friday, beautiful, pleasant. How about 60s to near 70 on Friday? The eight day forecast, great weather going on into uh, the weekend. Maybe cooler near 60 at the coast. In the 60s inland, uh, so, you know, basically after a stormy weather between midnight and, and 6 a.m. on Tuesday, from Tuesday afternoon right through into the weekend, we're doing pretty well. We're mainly dry. The sun's out a lot. It's chilly Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday, and then we'll warm it up for Friday into a Saturday. So got to tune in to Gill first thing on Tuesday morning for the very latest update. I hope you're feeling well. Bye.